Let's solve some multi-step equations. So, you know, as you probably can guess, that means that we're solving equations that have more than one step. So the first step here would be to make this look like something we can cross multiply. I mean, we don't have to do that. We can multiply both sides by J, but let's just multiply both sides by J. Let's not do the cross multiply thing. So we're gonna multiply by J. We're gonna multiply by J. That's gonna cancel these out. And that's gonna give us three J equals three. And then the second step is to divide, to divide both sides by three. And you get J equals one. You could probably have guessed one, right? If you put in a one, what's three divided by one? Three, and that makes the equation work. Okay, I think we can see that the letter here doesn't matter. We can see it should be the same answer as the last one, right? So we can go through the steps a little bit more quickly since we did it. So we'll multiply both sides by three. That gives us nine, or sorry, by T. Multiply both sides by T. That gives us 3t equals 3, and then divide both sides by 3, gives us t equals 1 again. I did that fast because we just did that problem. Okay, how about this? This is a little bit different. We will multiply both sides by h, and we'll get 3h, and then we'll get equals 9 divided by h times h. But what happens? These h's cancel out. So we get 3h equals 9. And then we divide both sides by 3. And we get h equals 3. So the first step here is to distribute the negative 1 in the right-hand side. So we'll get 5 equals, what's negative 1 times negative 2? Positive 2. And then what's negative 1 times z? Minus z. So then let's add z to both sides. All right, so we cancel this out, and we get z plus 5 equals 2, and we subtract 5 from both sides, and we get z equals negative 3. You can always check your work too, right? If I put in a negative 3 here for z, I'll get negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, and then negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So it makes the equation work. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 4 to clear this denominator. We'll clear that. We'll get 8 equals a plus 4. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides. And we get A equals 4. Yeah. Once you get into a rhythm, it can be fun. Takes your mind off your problems, I mean, except your math problems. A times 1 is A. This equals 3. Oh, that was fun. That was more like a one-step problem. What did I write? A equals 3. Okay. Very nice. All right, how about this? I have a feeling this may be a little one-step-ish as well. So 
the math games here is trying to tell you sometimes, right, the letters themselves don't matter, okay, right? if the equation is consistent, you'll get the same answer, right? So this, I think it was the same equation as the last one. This time we get t equals 3, right? Just like we got, forgot our last letter, a equals 3. It was the same equation. So we get t equals 3. Okay, how about this? Well, let us add s to both sides. Being lazy, I guess I should. So now we get s plus 6 equals 5. Now we subtract 6 from both sides. We get s equals negative and I'm always kind of just checking, right? So I'm plugging in a negative 1 for s. Clear this. I'll plug in a negative 1 here and say, hey, does that make sense? Does 5 minus negative 1 equal 6? Yeah, because that's 5 plus 1. So that's a check for your work. You can do a mental check. Okay. So let's first add 1 to both sides. So that's going to make that go away. That was our goal. So this will be negative 1 equals negative i. And logically, if negative 1 equals negative i, then positive 1 equals positive i, right? So you can multiply both sides by negative 1 and make this i equals 1. So we've got i equals 1. Do our mental check. If we put in 1 for here, is negative 1 minus 1 negative 2? Yep. Okay. Let's do this one. We're going to distribute this. This is going to give us negative 3 plus y, because the 1 goes into both. And this will give us negative 3. And then we will add 3 to both sides. And we'll get y equals 0. So y equals 0. Mental check. If we put in a 0 here. Does it work? Does 1 times negative 3 equal negative 3? Looks like it does. So y equals 0. All right. Get to practicing these multi-step equations. Practice makes perfect. All right. Have a good day.